Hello YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you all so much for the love and the continued support of my channel. Today's video, you guys, we are getting to my favorites for the month of February. So if you want to hear what my favorites in body care have been, a little makeup, and of course, a fragrance, then just keep watching. All right, you guys. So the first thing I want to get into is body care. Now I spoke about <laughs> Sticky Dates by Lush on my five star gourmands video. You guys, if you have never tried this, you need to get it in your life because it is so good okay this literally smells like like I said like a pecan pie okay <laughs> you know how it's very sweet and decadent and rich and just uh there's nothing like a good pecan pie you put that in a blender then you drench it with like thick delicious like milky caramel or like a toffee and you blend it up okay and then you add an abundance of like vanilla extract that is what this is like. This is like the most rich, yummy, delicious, indulgent shower experience of my life. <laughs> I, I mean, literally speechless. Like when I'm in the shower using this, I'm like ooing and aahing and oh my God. And oh my, do you smell? Like, I need to talk to someone <laughs> because I want to ask like, do you smell my shower right now? Do you smell what is going on? Like this is, it is a must. If you are a gourmand lover, if you love the note of vanilla and like caramel toffee, this is the only <laughs> one you need to get in your life. Just like um, Lush's Rose Gem is the only rose uh, body wash that you will need for the rest of your life. I got the big 70, I think $70 uh, size of that one recently. And I'm gonna get the same size in this one once this one is done because exquisite body washes like this luscious lather and then the smell is just all up in the bathroom. It is a 10 and you need to get this one on your radar ASAP. Again, that is Sticky Dates by Lush. All right, so body care. I finally picked this up and I'm like, where have you been all my life? <laughs> this is Vanilla Cashmere Shea Butter Body Lotion by EOS um, and this is just so fragrant. It's going to blow your mind. Like it's going to knock your socks off because a lot of times we get stuff that's, you know, Target, drugstore. It's a fragrance. It's nice, but this is fragrant. Okay. Like you can smell this probably down the hall. This, if, if you don't want to put on a perfume that day, you're trying to give your nose a break. You can wear this and people will probably still smell you and think that you smell divine. Okay beautiful vanilla scent. And I love layering it with Sol de Janeiro's new Bum Bum uh, oil. And I got this not for the firming properties that it has, but I got it just for the scent. I wanted the Bum Bum cream scent uh, in the oil. So I picked this up. Now this size is 3.4 ounces and it's very steep price point. I feel like the whole line is steep, but <laughs> This oil is quite pricey. Um, so will I repurchase this? I don't know. Um, because I feel like the creams, they seem to last forever. So we'll see how long this lasts. But so far, I love it. Very, very good quality oil. Soaks right into the skin. Um, you look very moisturized. Let me just put a little. And I actually, when I wear this, sometimes I'll just pump this and put a little of this in there. And it's like a whole gourmand vibe. So this is what it looks like on skin. Oh, that went everywhere. <laughs> so this is what it looks like when you work it into the skin. Beautiful shine, you know, shine that really does, you know, moisturize the skin. Um, once you've added a water base, it's gonna lock in the moisture, but you're not gonna feel greasy, but you're still gonna have a nice, you know, shine to your skin. If you compare, like you can see, and you will pretty much maintain this level of glisten for quite some time. So it's a beautiful oil. 
Mm, smells delicious, just like, you know, the cream, but it's in the oil form. Now, I don't know um, the properties, the, the firming and the smoothing. I don't know. Like, I put it on my legs, but I'm not, like, taking pictures and looking to see if anything looks firmer or tighter because, personally, I didn't purchase it for that. I think this is supposed to be used in combination with, like, lymphatic massages or something like that to really notice a difference. Um, but I love the smell and I love the, the way this oil reacts, you know, on my skin. So that's why I bought it and it's a love for me. Now, one thing I do love about this bottle, honey, like I have a glass vanity, which is where I keep this. And I love that it's rubber on the bottom. So when you put it down, it's not like clinking and clacking and glass on glass. I love this. I wish more people would do this when they, um, you know, give you an oil that is in glass. All right, so moving on from body, we are going to get into beauty. Y'all, rare beauty just whatever I decide to try, it just it's like home run. Home run, okay? The whole range and the new highlighters when they released this, it was automatic I need. <laughs> I got this one in the shade flaunt and it is so smooth and buttery and silky and like I'm not a liquid highlighter girl just because I prefer a powder but this literally would give you like the look of like a li it's so smooth it is so smooth so you're having a look of like a liquid highlighter it's not chunky the specs are just the right size and it's like butter it is like butter and I love it like this is going to be a repurchase for sure like the best setting spray ever <laughs> Rare Beauty. I mean, I'm on like bottle number probably 25 by now because as soon as it gets low, I'm repurchasing and I don't foresee replacing that setting spray anytime soon. Something else I picked up from Sephora is going to be um, the Cherry Moon Lippy. This is like a matte lippy. And I also picked up a rouge liner in the shade 11 or it's cherry. So I love a blue red like blue undertone red on me like orange undertones I just can't do um with my skin tone but like the bluer the better um <laughs> and this is extremely blue and I'm obsessed okay I was watching Nima and she did like a little I don't know a reel I think I was watching on her Instagram about like her favorite red lippies she's very 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 you know deep complexion beautiful, vibrant skin. And if it looks good on her, I know it's going to look good on me. So when she said this was like super, super blue, but she loves it. I was like, I'm just, let me just add to cart. It looked beautiful on her. And that's actually my lip combo for the day. So yeah, if you want it, it'll be linked below. Love this lippy combo. All right. So let's get into fragrance. Okay. So if you missed some of my more recent videos, I do want to let you know that I am now a Twisted Lily affiliate, so you can always save 10% on any purchases, including your samples, when you shop at Twisted Lily. But I purchased this actually with my own coins, okay? This was not 60 million PR. Patalia by Tamin is, I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. Let me paint a picture, okay? First of all, I love layering with BR540. In the opening, this is going to remind you of Baccarat Rouge, not in a, they tried to dupe Baccarat Rouge way, but in a, this is very transparent ambery and oak mossy, okay? So it doesn't have the saffron, doesn't have, it's a lot of other Baccarat Rouge components that this doesn't have. So it's not a Baccarat Rouge dupe, but the amber and the oak moss is very, it's going to remind you of Baccarat Rouge in the opening. But this goes off into a very different direction because you have this rose and this aldehyde, which really are the star of the show. And it is so feminine and beautiful. It's almost like a much more feminine, almost floral take on this one. Y'all, I this has beautiful, like, longevity sillage overspray everywhere. And then just the pulse points, I would do Baccarat Rouge here, here, and maybe... Here and here, compliment city, compliment magnet, okay? This was, when I say, I thought that this was 
the scent was still there, but clearly this is the end of my work day. I'm shopping at Publix at home, like in my home area. I had already left work, the commute. So we took about 14 hours from when I put this, this combination on, 14 hours. This lady caused a scene in the Publix and I almost, you know, I was about to draw my taser on her because I'm like, lady, what, you, what, what do you want? The way she came at me, she was just like, what, what, what is that? What is that? I'm like, what is, what, 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 <laughs> what do you have on? You smell amazing. I was like, oh, oh, girl, you should have said something. Thinking she about to mug me. I was like, I have on two fragrances. I have on uh, Patalia by Tummy and I have on Baccarat Rouge. And of course, people ask you and they're not into niche like or perfumes. They're like looking at you like, oh, okay. Whatever that is, you know. But that was the combo, honey. She almost ran me down. She was like, I I've never smelled anything. <laughs> so I was like, thank you. Me either. Wore the neck. I wore this. Let me see. When I wore this like five days in a row, look at last video y'all saw this. It was brand new, pretty much. Now look at where we are. Okay. Look at where we are. I'm obsessed with this combination. This is so freaking gorgeous and stunning and feminine and classy, but sweet and a little fresh because of the aldehydes and its rolls. And it's just everything to me right now. Um, I wore this the next day off duty job. I'm sitting many, many feet away from the front door. And apparently when I walked through, my siage lit up the place because I was sitting at a desk, I bust someone in. And as soon as the lady crossed the threshold, she was like, you smell really good. I was the only one in there. <laughs> so she knew it had to be me. But she was like, you smell really good. It smells so good in here. Like what the hell? <laughs> and it was this again, like this, performs okay we already know what this does so we wear these together compliments everywhere i was going people were like what is that oh my god it smells good in here oh my god you smell good like it was causing a whole scene a whole ruckus so twisted lily if you are on the fence like i would say test this first because rose aldehydes like aldehydes can be very hit or miss for people but i love the way that they are done in here doesn't come across as mature to me in my nose and on my skin at all in any way. But aldehydes can just come across that way to some people in general. So I would say get a sample from Twisted Lily because they have samples. So why not sample it, girl? Or if you just, you froggy like that, you want to leave, buy the bottle, yes, but be, also buy the sample. And you test that sample before you open the cellophane on the box. So if you have to return it, you feel like it's not for you, from the sample, you're making your judgment, then return it. But... This is stunning and you need it in your life, especially for upcoming spring and summer. All right, so you guys, I have never been so impressed <laughs> with a house as a whole as I am with Atelier Masari. I have never received a discovery set and love damn every damn near every fragrance in here wait let me look let me look i think there's one i haven't tried let me just sample it now hell while we're here let me just sample it now i have not tr i've tried them all except for iris ebene and we'll see how i like this one but all of these all of these remaining i need full bottles of period i have cacao porcelana which is how i got this when i got that bottle they sent me the discovery set I, I need answers. I just, I need answers. Like, how can every fragrance you make be full bottle worthy? I want a full bottle of every last one of these. Narcisse, uh, is it Taiji? Oh my God, I have never smelled a Narcissus, like a yellow floral fragrance like this. Now this one, it almost, it's almost like a floral that is very unisex leaning masculine. Oh my God, but is it stunning? I have no, oh, just take me away. Take me away, Dr. <laughs> just save me because this is too much, this is too much, it's too much. 
get the discovery set. I promise you, you will, you will find yourself a 10, probably a few gems because why DM Brett blew my freaking socks off. And this is the one I'm going to get a full bottle of next. There were a couple others. I was like, oh, I need a full bottle of this and this, but this one moved up to the top after I tested it on my skin. Bois D'Ambre is the most beautiful ambre note I have ever, like I can't even wrap my mind around how beautiful this is. Oh my God. Very unisex, but it's, the ambre is so ambre that it's almost like a nutty facet. <laughs> it's got some spices in there. It's very fresh, musky, powdery, aromatic, but gorgeous. This is the most it's almost like an indulgent musk, if that even makes sense. Like, girl, we out here eating musk now? Yes. If a man had this on, I would probably try to devour him because I could not even. Like, I just did a men's uh, fragrance video and I featured this particular one in there. But make no mistake, this is very unisex. Like, I'm getting myself a bottle <laughs> and I can't wait. Like, this house, I'm telling you, I'm telling Ew, if you ain't smell it. Even a grapefruit one, y'all. Even a grapefruit one blew my mind. I don't even like grapefruit like that because it can get really funky on my skin. It was a t I love it. It was a 10. The whole, all the whole set is a 10. Okay, we're gonna give the set a 10. And you need to explore this house if you want to do nothing else in 2023. Okay, moving on. Um, let's do another 13. Listen, this is the most gorgeous still musky, <laughs> still deal with ambre. Oh my God. But very different from Bois d'Ambre. This is so molecular oh, ambre, but it's then it's got like this little bit of a little pear note that's kind of peeping through. Oh my, and it's just so addictive. Like what the, what did they put in here? I don't know. But if you want to smell like fresh, clean, but hard to describe like musky put together um it's very hard to describe you just got to spray it on you've got to spray it on this is very molecular so you may go nose wine too you may not smell anything but like baccarat rouge like i smell it all day like it lasts all day and i get the wafts of it throughout the day consistently constantly it's always there so it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. And like every man definitely needs in their collection. This, I feel like some women may think it leans slightly masculine, but I don't think so. It's just a very beautiful molecular, you know, woody, um, musky scent. What can I say? It's a, it's phenomenal. If you've never experienced this, um, another 13, please get a sample and try this because this was only for a sniff. I had a decant. I flew through that royalty scents decant and I'm, I'm in love with it. So is my daughter. So we share this and obviously like the next one is going to be hundred mil, absolutely hundred mil because by the time it gets hot and I really start to like pull for fresher scents, this is going to be gone <laughs> by like first month in spring. All right, you guys. So that is the video for today. If you want to see more content like this, let me know in the comments below um, because we can definitely get into more things than just fragrance all the time. I'm always asked questions about makeup and beauty and all the things. So definitely want to start adding more content like that and, you know, into my content calendar. So let me know if it's something that you are interested in. Also, you guys, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Make sure your notification bell is turned on to all so that you never miss any of my uploads. And last but not least, give the video a big thumbs up if you found any value in the content because it keeps this channel growing. It is real. I love you all, YouTube, and I will catch you guys on the next one.